Welcome to Twisting Fitness. I'm Jess, and today I'm happy to guide us through a yoga practice focusing on balancing and restoring our hips. We'll flow through a creative water element sequence designed to boost ease of movement, mobility, and grace, as well as promote relaxation with mindful deep hip releasing and opening stretch, empowering fluid flexible healing through life's ebb and flow. Let's go ahead and start out kneeling on your mat. Come to a comfortable kneeling position with your hips over your heels. You can always have a cushion under your hips or a block underneath you. And we'll settle in. Gently close your eyes and start to deepen your breath. Let's visualize water rushing all around us. And start to bring awareness to our hips, low back and lower abdomen. Breathing in and out of our nose, feel free to activate Ujjayi breath, gently constricting the back of the throat, sounding like an ocean wave. Helping us to connect with our movement. We'll set an affirmation for this practice. Where water flows brings life. I feel peaceful and creative, allowing body, mind, and soul to adapt fluidly and heal with grace through ever-changing life emotions. We'll inhale. Reach the arms forward, taking the finger or the wrists under the shoulders. Take the knees under the hips, and we're going to circle to the right side. Inhale. And exhale, push back. Big circles over our shoulders and hips. Starting to mobilize and warm the joints. Let's switch directions. Inhale up the left side. Exhale back on the right. Big circles. Moving with our breath. Let's take child's pose. Take a breath here. Inhale, come through on your elbows. Press through the hands, lift your heart. Now round your back, tuck your head and tail, push back. Keep going, come through on the elbows. Big inhale, press the mat, arch. Exhale, round, tuck, push back. Inhale forward, exhale, push back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, round, tuck, push back, tight, take child's pose. Inhale, we'll round up, tuck your toes under. I'm sorry, extend the right leg out, keeping the leg down. We'll inhale, start to pick up the right foot for one, two, three, four, five. Lower the right foot down. Inhale, lift the left hand, twisting the spine, releasing the inner thigh. Exhale, take the left hand down, reach the right arm long. Lift the right leg and circle for one, two, Three, four, five, lift. Now draw the right foot in, inhale. Exhale, come on up over to gate pose, stretching through the left side and down into the right leg. Inhale, 
Exhale, make a fist and circle the left wrist. Another inhale. Exhale, start walking the hands down and press the hips back towards the diagonal. Pick up the right toes. Inhale, lift your hands, take them back under the shoulders. Pick up the right foot and circle the knee for one, two, and three. Lower the right knee down, switch sides. We'll inhale, pick up the left foot and start to lift for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, take the foot down, inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, take the right hand over to the right side. Reach through the left fingertips and toes. And we'll circle for one. Draw the belly in. Two, three, four, five. Lift, reach. Inhale. And exhale, fold the left foot in. Inhale, come up. Gate pose, stretching towards the left side, releasing the right side of the body. Inhale. Exhale, take the hands down and press the hips towards the diagonal. Now lift the left toes up. Exhale, bring the hands back under the shoulders. Pick up the left foot and we'll circle for one, two, three, four, and five. Lower down. Tuck your toes, we'll shift forward and press the mat, start pushing the hips back. Inhale, we'll lift the heels, keeping the knees bent as much as you like, inhale. Now exhale, press the right heel down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop the left heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push both heels down. And we'll start walking ourselves forward, heel to toe. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, option to take a hold of the elbows and hang in ragdoll. Maybe sway, bending one knee at a time. Or just keeping both knees bent as much as your practice calls for. Bend your knees, roll up, sweep your hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Drop the head, look back, shake out the neck. Inhale, look forward. Now we'll bend the left knee, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, lower down, fold. Inhale, bend the right knee, sweep the left arm up. And exhale, fold down, release your head. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, take the fingertips down. Now shift over to the left foot, pick the right foot up, hover, take a breath. Now extend the right leg back behind you and start bending the left knee, dropping the right toes down to the mat. Drop the right knee. We'll sweep the arms up, coming into low lunge. Anjanayasana, lift your arms. Deep breath. Exhale, we'll take the left, the left thumb over the right, crossing or interlacing our fingers. Lift your heart, inhale. Now exhale, fold forward, taking the left shoulder towards the left knee. Now inhale, lift up and press forward into the left hip, keeping the hip square. Now exhale, we'll shift forward over the right knee, pressing into the left hamstring, flex the foot. Now we'll release the right arm down and extend the left arm up above you twisting. Now exhale, take the left hand down, draw the left knee back, and we'll take 
knees, chest, chin coming through to cobra. Draw the elbows back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press yourself up. Coming through table, bring the right knee forward. Tuck the left toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Low lunge on the right side. Lifting your heart, draw the navel in. Exhale, we'll take the hands behind you. Taking the right thumb over the left. Inhale. Exhale, take the right shoulder down towards the right knee. Inhale, lift your heart, shift forward, deepening into the left hip flexor. Now exhale, fold back forward, straightening the right leg or keeping it slightly bent and possibly drawing the right toes up and towards you. Now fold the left hand down, extend the right arm up, twisting. Getting into the IT band on the outer edge of the hip. Now exhale the hands down, step onto the right leg, pick up the left leg, and start extending it out to the left side. Hover and hold for a breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold and take the backs of the hands down to the mat, releasing our wrists as we release the hamstrings. Maybe shake out the head, releasing the neck once again. Now bend your knees. Sweep your arms up, coming into Utkatasana. Chair pose, sit low. Make sure you can see your toes behind your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, we'll fold forward, hinging at the hips. Look back. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank position. Draw your core in. Shift forward, knees up or down, elbows in, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot in and we'll inhale, lift the right leg. Bend the knee, open and stack the hips. Rise up onto the left toes. Now look forward, take the right foot towards your head. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Come through with the right foot. Lower the left heel, square the hips forward. Lift your arms up into warrior one. Interlace your fingers. Extending the pointer, the first finger for yogic steeple. Inhale. Exhale, we'll Side bend to the right, pressing back through the left heel. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale, up. Now exhale, start stepping forward. Bring the hands to heart center. Take the left leg over the right for eagle legs. Sit low. You can hook the toes either on the mat or behind the calf, but keep the legs squeezing in. Focus your gaze to help you balance. Now inhale, straighten the right leg, flex the left foot, take it to the top of the right knee. We're gonna sit in a figure four stretch, releasing the left hip. Option to take the hands down and inhale, sweep the right arm up, twisting to the right side. Exhale down. Inhale, twist the left arm up. Making it a little more advanced. Exhale down, you can always just stay right up here. Wherever you are, bring your hands back to your heart. Now inhale, step back with the right leg. Extend the arms up, warrior one. Heart lifts. Inhale, now exhale, hands down. Step back with the right leg. Shift forward, elbows in. 
chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot in, inhale, lift the left leg. Bend the knee, stack and open the hips. Rise up onto the right toes. Now look forward, take the left foot towards your head. Now exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it back towards your head. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the left foot down, lower the right heel. Square the hips for warrior one. Interlocking our hands, extending the first finger. Inhale, exhale to the left side. Inhale, center. Keep the front knee bent to about 90 degrees. Exhale to the right side. Inhale, come back to center. Now shift forward onto the left foot, take the right foot around for eagle legs, eagle pose. Just keeping your hands at your heart today. Option to keep the toes down on the mat or hook the toes around the lower leg. Just keep the thighs pressing and squeezing in. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Flex the left foot, or right foot, taking it to the top of the left knee. Sit low. You can either stay here. In fact, if you feel unstable, you can hold on to this leg to help you, or if you want a little more challenge, take the hands down to the mat. Inhale, sweep the left arm up if you wanna take the twisting challenge. Exhale down. Inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, twisting back to center. Inhale, bring your hands back to heart center. Come up, shift the right leg back, warrior one. Front knee bends, heart lifts, shoulders relax down. Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Slide the left leg back. High plank, shift forward, elbows in, chaturanga, upward facing dog, knees up or down. Lower the knees down, fold the feet in, and push yourself back to child's pose. Take one breath here. Round up, tuck your toes, lift your hips, press yourself into downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Rise up on the toes and step or hop to the front of your mat. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold. Option to grab the backs of the legs and deepen. Now bend your knees and inhale, sweep your arms back into chair pose, sit low. Inhale, circle the arms and come back to mountain pose. Steady your breath here. Maybe we'll tune back into our affirmation. With water brings life. I feel peaceful and creative, allowing body, mind, and soul to fluidly adapt and heal with grace through the ever-changing emotion of life. So we'll begin to flow. We'll step back with the left leg, open your knees. Make sure the knees line up with the toes and we're gonna come into a sumo squat, tucking the hips. Now inhale, lift the elbows out to the side, pressing the elbows forward and the hands back, goddess pose, sit low. Deep breathing. Inhale, now exhale, take the left elbow to the left knee, turn the right foot 
line the outer edge of the foot up with the mat. Inhale, sweep the right arm over, either over the shoulder or up to the ear. Side angle pose. Belly in. Now inhale, reverse your warrior. Extending as you straighten the front leg, deepening through the left side body release. Inhale, coming back, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, bending the front knee. 90 degrees, extending through the collarbones. Inhale, turn the left toes in. Take the left thumb over the right. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, start rolling down slowly, hinging forward at your hips. Drop the head, look back. Bringing the knuckles over you, releasing the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, bend the left knee. Now start to turn, lowering the right hand down, taking the hips square forward, inhale. Now exhale, turn the left arm, reach back. Inhale, turn a little more, come on the outer edge of both feet, lifting the hips, reaching the left arm up, coming into a side plank. So you can drop the right knee down if you need modified side plank, or you can step into side plank or bring your knee up. So on all of the side planks we're doing today, you have these options. Now step the left toes back, wild thing, lift your heart. Now inhale, pick up the left knee, take it towards the left elbow, step forward across from the right hand. Lower the left hand down to the ankle. Inhale, sweep the right arm overhead. Side angle pose, extended variation. So you're pressing through the outer edge of the right foot. You may wanna have your hand down on the mat if you prefer, or up on the knee if this is too deep. So inhale, straighten the left leg, open the arms, come into triangle, trikonasana pose. Stretching in all directions, draw the core in. Now inhale, reach the right arm forward, come forward with the left fingertips, tint them. Circle the right arm up, coming into half moon pose. Option to fold the right foot in and maybe hover here. Lower both hands down, take a standing split to drop the head, look back. Exhale, slowly start lowering yourself down. Take both hands on the inside of the left leg, drop the right hip, look forward, lifting the chin. Option to come down on your elbows if you want to deepen into the hip flexors and hip opening. Inhale, drop the right knee. Take the hands down in front of you and we'll fold the right leg in. Sweep the right hand back towards the ankle and option to stay right here with the left hand down or bring the left hand to the knee or turn the foot over, taking it towards the elbow crease to deepen the quad stretch and maybe extend the left arm up. Breathe here. Exhale, take the left hand down. Start opening the knees, coming back into a sumo squat, getting low, lining the toes up with the knees, sweep your arms back up. Cactusing the arms, elbows forward, chest open. Deep breathing. Now start to extend the left leg back in line with the mat. The edge of the foot lining with the back of the mat. Take the right elbow down and sweep the left arm over the shoulder or up to the ear. Side angle pose. Now inhale, come up, reverse your warrior straightening through the right leg into a reverse triangle. Now exhale, coming back forward into warrior two, bending the front knee. 
Now inhale, turn the right foot in, take the thumb, right thumb over the left. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward, wide leg, fold. Decompressing our, sp our spine and stretching our shoulders. Now inhale, exhale, bend the right knee, deepening into the inner thigh. And inhale, take the left hand down, keep the right hand back, start turning, look forward so you're square to the front of the mat. Now exhale, reach back with the right shoulder, look back. Start lifting your hips. Now come onto the outer edge of both feet. Lift the hips higher, take the right arm up. Press through the palm, make sure it's under the shoulder. Now pick the right knee up. Or you can take one of the two other variations with the knee down or side plank with both legs together. Now we'll take the right toes back and lift your heart, wild thing. Now inhale, pick the right knee up, lift it towards the right elbow. Step forward across from the left hand, take the right hand to the right ankle. Turn the back foot over, line it up with the back of the mat. Sweep the left arm overhead, extended side angle pose. You can have your hand down on the mat or on the ankle if you prefer, or back up on the knee if this is too much. Inhale, open the arms, triangle pose. Gazing up to the left hand or down at the mat if you feel unstable, draw your core in. Gently bend the right knee and shift the fingertips forward, tenting them, coming into half moon. You can keep the left hand on your hip if you prefer. Or if you wanna make it a little more challenging, fold the back leg in and maybe hover here. Exhale, fold forward. Extend the left leg up, coming into a standing split. Drop the head. Inhale and exhale, start lowering down. Coming into a lizard pose, dropping the hips through, lifting your heart. Looking up. Or coming down onto the elbows to deepen. Nice full breaths. Lower the knee down, bring the hands in line with the foot and flex the left foot in. So we'll sweep the left arm back to the ankle. Grab a hold of the foot and you can stay right here with the fingertips down. Could even be up on a block here or you can rest your hand on your, or your elbow on your knee or extend the right arm up, maybe deepening the quad stretch, taking the toes to the elbow crease. Lifting, breathing, deepening. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Slide the right leg back, high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, knees up or down. Fold the feet in and exhale. Push the hips back for child's pose. Take a couple breaths to recover here. And then we'll do that flow one more time, a little bit faster with some more advanced variations if you like. Steady your breath. Press through the hands, round up, tuck your toes, and press yourself back into downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, rise up onto the toes, step or hop to the, or step or hop to the front of your mat. Look forward, flat back, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up to chair pose, reach and inhale to standing. Exhale, step back with the left leg, open the knees, coming back to our sumo squat, turning the knees out with the toes, 
Option to rise up on the toes this time and bring the elbows up. Goddess pose, sit low. Breathe here, deepen. Now exhale, drop the right heel down, line it up with the front of the mat. Take the left elbow to the left knee, reach the right arm long, side angle. Option to release the elbow and hold, inhale. Exhale, inhale, come up, reverse warrior. Take the right hand behind your back. Extend the left leg, possibly taking the left arm back behind the head, clasping the fingers. Inhale and exhale, coming into warrior two with cow face arms. Breathe deeply. Inhale, turn the left foot in, toes pigeoned in, release your arms. Take the left thumb over the right, lift your heart, and exhale, roll down. Release your head. Inhale. Exhale, shift over to the left side. Start lowering the right hand down and twisting. Squaring forward. Exhale, reach back open. Inhale, start twisting a little more, coming onto the outer edge of both feet. Lift the hips. Reach the left arm up. Now lift your knee or straighten your leg. Option to take the left leg behind you. Coming into wild thing. Maybe cradle the head. Now step forward with the left knee. Opposite the right hand, lower the left hand down to the mat or to the ankle. Sweep the right arm up over, head towards the ear. Now inhale, take the right hand behind the back for a bind. So hook the right hand in the hip crease or we'll take the left hand under the left thigh, hook the hands, taking the full bind. Now we'll swing the right shoulder up and look up, breathing deep. Now inhale, extend the left leg, drop the head, lower, look up. Keep the right shoulder lifted if you're in a bind. Now inhale, release your bind, come forward with the left fingertips. Slide the left foot back if you need to, come into half moon. Option to bend the right leg in and grab the foot for sugar cane. Deepening into the hips option here to take the left hand to the lower leg or to your heart. Lower both hands down. Step the left leg back. Take your standing split. Option to take a few handstand hops here or just stay in your split. So if you're hopping, grip the mat. Raise up onto the toes of the left foot and then gently kick the right. Taking a hop or two or three. Lowering down, take the hands on the inside of the left leg coming into our lizard pose. Look forward, lift your heart. Now exhale, straighten the left leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, look forward. Now drop the right knee down. Sweep the left arm back. Fold the right leg in. Twisted variation. Option to come down on this right elbow and breathe deeply. Sweep the left hand around. Open the knees. Come back through sumo squat. This time pressing the, the knees wide to deepen into the inner thighs. Inhale, come up on your toes. Bring the elbows back up out to the side. Cactusing the arms. Tuck the hips slightly. Now exhale, shift the left heel back in line with the back of your mat. Right elbow comes down. Left arm extends overhead. Option to reach both arms. Belly in. 
legs strong. Inhale, come up. Left hand behind the back, reverse warrior. Now extend the right leg, bend the right elbow, take it behind the head, maybe clasping the hands, walking the fingers, and exhale, coming back to a warrior two with cow face arms. Inhale, straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in, take the hands behind the back, right thumb crosses over the left, lift your heart, inhale, exhale, fold forward, drop the head, look back, shake out the neck, toes pigeoning in slightly, big inhale, exhale, bend the right knee, inhale. Lower the left hand down, start turning, dropping the hips. Hips are square forward. Now exhale, open the right shoulder back, look back. Now turn a little more, turn on the outer edge of both feet. Lift the right hand up. Now pick up the right knee. You can either stay, keep the leg down or lift the knee or extend the leg. You have options. Honor your body. Now exhale, step the right toes back, lift your heart, wild thing. Cradle the head, touch the back of the left shoulder. Now step forward with the right knee, across from the left hand, inhale. Turn the back foot over, exhale, take the right hand to the ankle or to the mat. Start shifting the left shoulder up and sweep the arm overhead. Extended side ankle. Now we'll sweep the left arm back behind the back taking the bind, hooking the fingers on the left hip crease, or taking the right hand under the right leg, then clasping the hands behind the back. Breathe here. Now inhale, shift the left shoulder up, bringing the heart through, looking up, deepening the bind. Big inhale. Now exhale, straighten the right leg, drop the head down. Look up, keep the left shoulder lifting. Now release your bind. Come forward with the fingertips. Maybe slide the right foot back a little if you need to. Come into a half moon, fold the back leg in, reach for the back foot, sugar cane, or stay in half moon. Option here to take Wobbling. Option here to take the right hand to the ankle or up to the heart. Or just keep the fingertips down, whatever feels best to you. Exhale, lower both hands down, look back, standing split. Maybe step back with the right foot if you wanna take some standing handstand hops. So pick up the back leg, rise up onto the right toes, grip the mat. Now we'll just lift the, kick the left leg gently. Maybe taking two or three hops. You can also do these at the wall if you wanna press pause. Lower the right leg down, step back with the left foot. Bring the right leg, or right hand on the inside of the right leg. Drop the hips down, lift your heart, lizard pose. Lift your chin. Now exhale, straighten the right leg, coming through pyramid pose. Now exhale, lowering back down. Drop the left knee, sweep the right arm back, fold the right leg, left leg in. Grab the foot, option to come down onto your elbow. Deepen. Twisted lizard variation. Now we'll start turning towards the center of our mat once again. Stepping our feet in closer or keeping the knees wide as we were pressing the knees out. So if you want to deepen, toe heel the feet into Malasana, garland pose, yogi squat. 
Press the knees open as you lift your heart. Breathe deeply. Maybe rocking side to side here. Now, if you want to deepen, we'll inhale, start lifting the hips to heel the feet in a little closer. Take the shoulders under the knees. Lower the palms down, grip the mat, activate the full hand. Now you can stay right here, just feeling new sensations if this is something that's new for you. Or maybe shift back onto the palms, walking the feet out. Maybe bringing the feet together in front of you in an arm balance. Or possibly opening the legs, coming into Titi Basana. Firefly, po firefly pose. Wherever you are, breathe. Now start, if you're in firefly pose, start lowering the feet down or arm balance. Come back to your yogi squat, Malasana. Bring the arms back through. Press the knees wide, rock side to side. Now inhale, step the hands over, take high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll pick up the right leg. Bend the knee, open the hips. Look forward, shift forward, take the foot towards the head. Knee to nose. Inhale, extend towards your head. Exhale, knee to nose. Now come through, lower the right leg down, coming into pigeon pose. Inhale, lift your heart. Try to line the leg up with the front of your mat or keep the foot in closer to you if you're tight or you can have a cushion under the right hip. So inhale, exhale, either come down onto the elbows and breathe here or work your way all the way down. Resting your forehead on your arms or the mat. Starting to slow your body down. Slow your breath down. Inhale, we'll fold the left foot in and maybe reach back with the right hand. Deepening into the hips. Extend the left leg. Press the hands down under the shoulders. Lift up and press yourself into downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Bend the knee, open, stack the hips. Exhale, look forward. Bring knee to nose. Inhale, lift the foot towards the head. Exhale, knee to nose. Now lower the left leg down, coming into pigeon pose. Releasing deep into the left hip. Inhale, lift your heart. Option to take a cushion under the left hip or a block. And wiggle in comfortable and we'll start to roll down either coming on to the elbows or resting the forehead on the arms or the mat deep breathing here slowing everything down We'll start to fold the right knee foot in towards the bum. Come on to the right elbow, sweep the left arm back, reach for the foot, twisting, deepening into the hip stretch, releasing through the quad. Extend the back leg. Now come back up, inhale, lift your heart. 
and exhale. Press through the hands and slide yourself into high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, inhale, upward facing dog. Lower yourself down. Open your knees. And then we're gonna bring the elbows through. Coming into a sphinx variation. Pressing into the mat with the elbows, draw the heart through the arms. Now exhale, bring the hands back beside the chest and push yourself into an up dog with the knees open. Now start shifting over the hips and draw the knees in a little bit, coming into a wide leg child's pose, releasing. Round forward, tuck your toes and lift your hips into downward facing dog. One last downward dog here before we move into our closing. So press the sternum towards the thighs as you lower the heels and press through the full hand. Now rise up on the toes and step forward with the right knee and the left bringing the soles of the feet together in front of you for bound angle. Rock the hips, sit tall. Big inhale. And exhale, we'll fold forward, pressing the knees open. Inhale, we'll shift back on the sitting bones, pick the legs up. Now release the ankles and hold here. Sit taller. Press your feet in together. Now start to extend the legs. Grab a hold of the lower legs. Now lift your heart towards your knees. Ooh. Working our balance here. Release your legs, lower the legs down. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold forward. Seated fold, Paschimottanasana. Taking our, the hands around the feet or just resting them on the ankles, the lower leg. Breathing deeply. Now inhale, we'll open the legs coming into a straddle position. You want the knees and the toes pointed up. So inhale, lift your arms, now shift towards the right and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, take the right hand beside the right hip, lift up. Now lift through the left arm, press through both feet as you sweep the hips up. Coming into sort of a fallen triangle here, a deep fallen triangle. Exhale, lower the hips down. Now fold towards the left foot. Inhale, coming up. Left hand beside the left hip. Right hand is gonna sweep up. Fall in triangle the other direction. Now exhale, come down back to center. Square forward, lift your heart, inhale. Now exhale, come forward onto the elbows or maybe just reach the hands out. Keep the knees and toes pointed up and maybe with each breath, work your way a little lower towards the mat. Now inhale, come up. Slide the feet together, coming into a low boat, hold here. Now inhale, open the legs, exhale, close. Inhale, exhale, keep going. Good, slide the hips forward. Roll yourself down, take the legs up. 
Now start lifting the hips up, take the palms down. Shift the legs over you, start picking the hips up as you come onto the shoulders, bring the hands to the low back, lift the legs up, coming into a shoulder stand. We'll start to take the legs over you and interlace the fingers, coming into plow pose. Chin is up off the chest. And if you want to deepen, bend the knees, taking them towards the ears, ear presser, pressure pose. Start straightening the legs. Release your arms, roll yourself down, hug the knees in, give the low back a little massage. Lower the feet down. And we're gonna start to roll up one vertebra at a time, taking bridge or wheel pose. So start to roll up using your breath. Option to take the shoulder blades together and interclasp the, the hands under you, lifting the hips. If you want to take wheels, step the feet in a little closer, turn the hands over under the shoulders, come onto the top of the head and press yourself into a wheel pose. Maybe step the feet together and lift the right knee or leg. Whether you're in bridge pose or wheel, lift your right leg. Exhale, right leg down, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, let's start coming down wherever you are slowly, reversing, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Take the knees together. And we'll windshield wiper the legs side to side. Maybe the arms too. Now hug the knees in, crunch the head towards the knees. Now take the right foot over the left knee, thread the needle. Exhale, relax the torso down, draw the knees up towards the shoulders. Press the tailbone down. Maybe rock a little bit here. Now lower the left foot, cross the legs a little tighter, and drop the knees over to the left, open the right shoulder. Giving our organs a hug. Helping to encourage digestion as well. Now inhale. Now exhale, drop both knees over to the right side. Look to the left elbow. You'll feel this down a little more in the hips. Now inhale. Crunch the head back in towards the knees. Now exhale, take the left foot over the right. Thread the needle, keeping that left foot flexed to protect the, the knee. Draw the knees up toward the chest, releasing deep into the left hip, as well as the low back. Lower the right foot down, deepen the cross of the legs and drop the knees over to the right side, open the left shoulder. Now inhale, keep the legs crossed, and exhale, drop the knees over to the left side, open the right shoulder. Now inhale, open your knees, 
coming into happy baby, how I finish practice most of the time. Taking hold of the outer edge of the feet or the big toes and drawing the knees towards the mat as you ground the sacrum or tailbone. Now here you always have an option to explore what feels good, maybe taking straddle, keeping the knees bent or straight, or possibly bringing the legs together over you for a pike shape. Maybe rolling the hips up, lowering the hips down, bring the soles of the feet together, take the heels towards the forehead. Now push the hips down and draw the knees down beside you and gently massage the low back. Big inhale. Exhale, relax your feet down through the mouth. Another time. Inhale, open the mouth, exhale. Take a couple breaths here. And we'll start extending our arms and legs, working our way into our final resting, Shavasana. Pressing the shoulder blades down the back, letting the hands fall out to the sides. Grounding your low back and letting the legs fall out as well. Coming into final resting, Shavasana. Letting everything go thanking yourself for getting on the mat today and completing this fluid water element practice. Now we'll allow our prana to circulate so our body can absorb the nectar of this practice. Let go, melt into the mat. And visualize water flowing all around you as we did earlier in our practice. Start to wiggle the fingers and toes. You can always stay here longer if you like. Just press pause. Inhale, extend the arms and legs long. Exhale, roll over to your side, pausing before getting up. closed, we'll come to a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed in front of you and your heart, your hands resting on your knees with your palms up. We'll take a few deep releasing breaths here, tuning into how we're feeling after completing this fluid mobility practice. Coming back into our affirmation. With water brings life. I feel peaceful and creative, allowing body, mind, and soul to fluidly adapt and heal with grace through life's ever-changing currents.
Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale the hands to your forehead. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. Sending peace to you and all beings. Namaste. If you enjoyed today's water element practice, you might check out my chakra yoga playlist and kindly show your support by subscribing for weekly flows. Leave a thumbs up, comment, request, or share with friends and family. And for more yoga, visit twistingfitness.com. See you there.